Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is the problem of GATE 2024 Mathematics Code MA. This is a question from Topology and Functional Analysis. First we read the question. For an integer n, let fnx is defined by x e to the power minus nx. So fnx is a sequence of functions uh, on closed interval 0, 1. Let s equal to fn such that n greater than equal to 1. That is the sequence of functions. The set is denoted by capital S. And consider the matrix C matrix space C01 D where DFG is defined by the submatrix. Then which of the following statements is or are true? So first C what is the limit of this sequence of functions? So if we uh, suppose f is the limit of the sequence of function then we try to find this fx and that will be fx equal to our limit n tends to infinity fn x equal to limit n tends to infinity fn x is defined by x into e to the power minus n x so clearly if x equal to 0 then this will be 0 and if x is between 0 and 1 0 less than x less than equal to 1 then also this will be 0 using this uh, limit n tends to infinity x by e to the power n x and simply as n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity this e to the power n x tends to infinity so this will be 0 so clearly if x equal to 0 then f x is 0 and x is uh, from 0 0 less x less than equal to 1 then f x is also 0 so f x is uniformly 0 so this f x equal to 0 x belongs to closed interval 0 1 and this is the limit of this sequence of function that means this fn tends to f pointwise. pointwise and also here if we consider this mn that is sup x belongs to closed interval 0 1 fn x then simply mod f n x then simply we can find this will be actually our limit n tends to infinity 1 by n e inverse and this will also tends to 0 as n tends to infinity so as m n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity so this f n so this sequence of functions f n will converge to f uniformly uniformly so as this sequence of functions fn converts to f uniformly and fn are the members of s so we must have this f belongs to s closure but this f does not belong to s so that means uh, that means s is a proper subset of s closer so that is s is not closed so so we have s is not closed and hence as it is matrix space every compact set is closed and bounded so and hence not compact not compact so now look at option uh, B and D. S is closed in C01, C01 D. This is not the correct option. And S is compact in C01 D. This is not the correct option. And also as Fn is uniformly convergent. So uh, this set S will be a family of equicontinuous functions. 
this is a standard result that if a sequence of functions is uniformly convergent then this set s of this sequence of functions will be uh, the family of equicontinuous functions uh, so option a is the correct option now look at option c uh, simply for n m belongs to n if we cal calculate what is our d f n f m so this is so uh, x belongs to closed interval 0 1 mod f n x minus f m x equal to soup closed interval 0 1 this x by e to the power n x minus x by e to the power mx mod and this will be less than equal to soup x belongs to closed interval 0 1 x into 1 by e to the power nx plus 1 by e to the power mx and without loss if we take this m greater than n then this mx will be greater than nx then e to the power mx greater than e to the power nx then 1 by e to the power mx less than 1 by e to the power nx so using this without loss if we take m greater than n then this will be less than equal to soup x belongs to closed interval 0 1 x into 1 by e to the power nx plus 1 by e to the power nx so this is equal to soup x belongs to closed interval 0 1 2x by e to the power nx and this is also less than equal to uh, soup x belongs to closed interval 0 1 2 by e to the power nx and also this less than equal to 2 so that means d fn fm less than equal to 2 for all nm belongs to n and hence we can conclude that this diameter s is finite diameter s is finite and it is as less than equal to 2 so diameter s is finite and hence s is bounded Now look at the option. Option C says that C is S is bounded in C01D. So this is the correct option. So here option A and C are the correct options and B and D are not the correct options. This is the solution of this problem. Thanks for watching.